have a song called Slime Time Live. Can you talk about your relationship with the uh, the television show program on uh, Nickelodeon, to, or or maybe just the origin of the name? Um, so I think everybody grew up on that freaky oh, yeah. television show. Um, well, the song itself is kind of just like a nostalgic uh, awakening, <laughs> coming of age, and um, there is a line about Slime Time Live in there, but I think it kind of like encompasses like that in, that song as a and like a whole entity. Right. How like just we're, just, we're nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. yeah, how you get gooped and like taken under by like things that you remember. Yeah, right. Yeah. Illustration seems to be like a you have beautiful album covers and I think that like there's a lot of really great illustrations. So can you talk about just your value on uh, album covers and how you value that? Um well, I I think we all really like to support like local artists and like those like more marginalized. Like I love working with like females who yeah, like want to get we want to get their work out there um so yeah we just like kind of create and like work together with with new people to like to create the album art and like the t-shirt designs and stuff so we're always like on the prowl who created shapeshifter um a friend of mine her name is brie moreno but i actually found her on instagram yeah i'm from toronto and i just like had loved her work forever and i was like super nervous to message her on Instagram, I was like, she's, she's too cool. <laughs> and then uh, I hit her up and was like, would you like to do this? And she was so psyched because she had never done album art before. Sure. And so it was like this really special thing for both of us that we'd never had an album come out before and she'd right. never done an art for an album. And so it was kind of like yeah. a real collaborative experience. So have y'all, have you always been a three piece and like what, um, cause you do, you just do so much. Like I saw you in the last track, like, messing with pedals to create these like long sustained um yeah like what uh but you still remain a power like just this trio of people you know what i mean um have you ever i suppose considered going bigger or have you ever like what's your experience been being a three-piece i suppose in creating something so sonic yeah. um we definitely have considered adding another person yeah definitely filling out the live sound but and if you listen to our record, there's definitely a lot of kind of like post-production stuff going on that we ca that we can't but that we can't capture live. But it's also really fun to like not have the same sort of thing going on because then we get to kind of totally rethink how we're going to like pull it off live, you know. So it's fun to think about like what our instruments could do outside of like the range of what in our instruments are supposed to do, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. What Dame is doing at the end there kind of sounds like synthy. He looks like Dame is like exactly. turning his whole thing into a different instrument yeah so you know, I, I, I like play my drums like a bass sometimes you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. your drums are a bass too yeah. <laughs> you you also experiment a lot with just tempo and arrangement you do a lot more than i think <laughs> bands usually tend to tend to reach for in in that so can you just kind of Is describe your sound yeah 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 we just get bored easily when we're writing we're like we should play this next part in a weird timing or yeah. whatever. Yeah. We'll see how much we can get away with and yeah. still like, be a pop Also, I think we just automatically go to weird time signatures. Right. We listen to a lot of freaky music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we listen to a lot of freaky music, yeah. What are you looking forward to in your, the rest of your South by Southwest experience as we wrap this up? Lil Yachty! <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think just like hanging out with friends is always yeah. the best right. and seeing new people. It's kind of like summer camp. You know, it's like it's like last year we were leaving these people and we were like, oh, I'm never going to see you again. And then like we just got here and I saw them immediately and I was like, oh, my God, I never thought I was going to see you again. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. All right. Well, thank you so much. Ian. This is Ian Sweet and uh, we're here with Radio KKUOM. And uh, thank you so much, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.